So if you're like me, over the weekend you heard the name Nick Fuentes for the first time, and it was accompanied by racist, white supremacist, uh, anti-Semite, things like this, right? But we know how the media plays the game now. They label someone a racist, you think that person must have said the N-word, instead it was the host of The Bachelor saying maybe we should forgive. The media loves to assign labels because they know you won't do the research, or in many cases they make the research very hard to do. So, curious about Nick Fuentes and wanting to find some details, I had to do quite a bit of searching to find a fair report. Uh, the assessment I found on one such channel actually gives a bit of a less biased look at him than say if you went to Young Turks. And I'm no way defending Nick Fuentes, nor can I really speak for what he may really believe. It appears as though he's very much into this America First initiative. And there's a possibility that the uh, Holocaust denial accusations are more of him ribbing at Ben Shapiro. At either rate, it is grifter v grifter, and I am taking no side in this conflict. I simply find it interesting how through deplatforming and clickbait, we have worked the truth that journalism once sought into a formulaic marketing exercise. Thank you for watching my son's YouTube station. It's not for everyone, but he tries. Maybe if you bought some merch below, he'll eventually get good at the YouTubing.